Have you ever wondered what it would be like to run an old version of Photo Mechanic? Back in 1998, the Associated Press was using a version called AP Viewer. Thanks to the folks at Infinite Mac, they now have a Mac OS 9 emulator that runs in a web page. Let me show you that workflow. First, we're going to go to our View menu. Choose the As List option. And then we're going to create a few new folders here. So we'll go to the File menu. New folder. We'll just call this Apps. That's for our installer. And we're going to create a new folder for our incoming images. And then finally, we're going to create a new folder for our processed files. To get our files in here from the Mac Finder, just locate the icon in the Finder and drag it into this area. It'll be copied to the Downloads folder inside of the outside world. There's our installer. We'll just move that to the Apps folder. And then we'll double click it. Then we'll unstuff the archive. We're going to go to the Vice installer and double click that icon. Click the Continue button. Continue one more time. And then click the Install button. Once it's installed, you can click the Quit button. And here's our AP Viewer folder. Now we're going to need to go and move this DCS Photo plugin inside of Photoshop's File Format folder. So let's go back to the Infinite HD folder. Go to Graphics. And then inside of Adobe Photoshop, go to the Plugins. Now we can drag the DCS photo into the file format folder. The next thing we need to do is increase the memory for Photoshop. So select it, use the command I shortcut to open up the info, go to the show menu and choose memory. And I like increasing the preferred size to 50,000 and the minimum size to 45,000. We'll also need to adjust the scratch disk, so let's just start up Photoshop. We'll go to the File menu, Preferences, Scratch Disks, and for the primary, we're going to set that to the Infinite HD. Now we can close Photoshop so it'll save the updates. Now we need to get some images on this environment. So we'll open up our images folder. And I have a few DCS TIFF files from an NC2000. I'll just drag them into this environment. We'll go into the Downloads folder. And then I'll just move them to the Images folder. <coughs> now we can launch the AP Viewer application. We'll just use the demo option. It's version 1.0. We'll be viewing raw DCS photos. And we'll select our images folder. Now you can see the original IPTC info dialog 
only had four fields, caption, headline, special instructions, and original transmission reference, plus the urgency field. So what we're going to want to do is go ahead and convert these into new TIF files that are going to have more metadata capabilities. Now we also have the original IPTC stationary pad. We'll just go ahead and add a few items here. Double click it and now it's in the field. Okay. We'll select all. And then we're going to go to the file menu and use the convert raw images. And we're going to choose our processed folder. Now we can go to the file menu, go to open contact sheet. This time we want to choose the option for viewing converted DCS photos. We'll select processed. And there are our converted images. Now if we go to the IPTC info dialog, we see it has the San Diego and the California from the stationary pad as well as more IPTC info fields. So we'll just add a quick caption here. Now we can send it off to Photoshop to go ahead and convert it into a JPEG. So we'll go to the image menu, edit photo in Photoshop. And we have a few options here in the DCS Photo plugin. We can either use the standard 24 bits or choose 48 bits. We have three color options, better skin, more saturation, and mixed light. We'll use the better skin option. Change the DPI to 100. And then we'll open the image. Now you could do other adjustments by going to the image menu, adjust, and use whatever your favorite tools might be. Once you're done, you can go to the file menu, choose the save as, and save it out as a JPEG. So we'll select JPEG from the format menu. And then we'll also need to change the TIFF extension to a JPG extension. We're going to save it in the same process folder. I'll go for the maximum quality. And now we can hide Photoshop. Hide AP Viewer. And now in our process folder, we see here's our new JPEG we just saved out. To get this to the outside world, we're going to drag this to the uploads folder inside of the outside world. This will save a copy to this file as a zip folder inside your downloads folder. So let me just unzip that file, go to the image file that we just saved out, and I'll open it up in preview. 
there's our image and we can see in the IPTC from the inspector here's Jim working in the AP trailer City San Diego State California and there's our creation date I hope this was informative and let us know if you have any questions about it